Today we're talking about our new air track innovation equipment. It's comprised of two primary components. You have your actual blade. These are disposable blades that come in two sizes. This particular blue size runs a tube from 7.0 to 8.5. The green blade is 6.0 to 7.5. As you'll see in the package here, they come attached with this eyepiece. This is so that you can conduct the innovation without the camera should you need to. However, this is the primary method you're going to use to set up this innovation equipment. What you're going to do is you're going to remove the air track blade from the package and you're going to turn the orange light on. This is going to turn this light on here. What you may see is a strobing effect with this light. What that's doing is it's heating up the tip of the blade. That's important because it uh, reduces condensation when you're actually doing your innovation attempt. So this heating of this tip can take anywhere from several seconds to 30 seconds. All right, so again, first step, take it out of the package, turn your light on. You're gonna remove the eyepiece. You're then gonna attach your camera directly on top of the device. This will automatically turn on the camera, okay? And it'll actually automatically start recording at this point as well. Next step, take your tube. You're gonna lube your tube up. You need to remove any stylet that's placed in the tube prior to putting it in the channel. What you're gonna then do is thread the tube through the channel until the tip of the tube meets the clear end of the channel. We're going to show you one method you can use to lubricate the tube. You can take your lubrication packet and squirt it into the channel. Then take your tube and run it through like so, and you're ready to go. So let's talk about the camera function. Again, this piece is disposable. This is something that you'll throw out. This camera, however, is not disposable. You want to keep this. It should be in your kits. The charging duration will be based on uh, your captain's preference. What you're going to do is you're going to plug the video screen on top of the innovation equipment. This will automatically turn the camera on. I had it on prior to that, but this will automatically turn the camera on when you set it on the, the blade. Once this happens, it'll automatically start recording. Every time this is plugged in and is on, it'll automatically be recording. You do not need to hit the record button. Should you want to take a picture during your innovation attempt, you can tap the screen and it'll take a snapshot. We do not use the purple pediatric button. This yellow button is uh, to flip the screen 180 degrees. You can tap on the button should you be operating from a different angle than your traditional innovation angle. There's also several menu options. You can hook up to different screens through Wi-Fi, different settings, etc. Okay, so you notice how this blade is a curved blade, just like a Mac. This particular device can be used as either a Mac style, meaning lifting up the molecula to access the vocal cords, or it can be used as a Miller to actually lift up the epiglottis itself. The preferred method is using it like a Mac style, and I'll tell you why. The issue you have with running it like a Miller is that the camera is actually lower than the tube itself, and so you may visualize the cords perfectly well by lifting the epiglottis to attempt a Miller style innovation, only to find that your tube will approach lower because the camera's in a slightly different spot. So one method you can use to remember how to orient your blade when you get ready for the innovation is to think hard palate, soft palate, vocal cords. And what I mean by that is I'm approaching my blade along the hard palate first, then I'm going to reach through to the soft palate. And at that point, I can start lifting up to visualize my vocal cords for the innovation. So to displace the tube from the channel of the blade, one method you can use is to take your thumb and run it along the tube like so and separate it from the channel to remove the blade from the tube and keep the tube in place without it dislodging. AirTrack has identified common problems that they've seen providers experience with the use of this equipment. And they've shared a few with us, so we're going to talk about three of those today. Uh, the first most common problem is that when you take 
the blade out of the package, it's really important that you turn the orange button on. Okay, what they're finding is when they review footage of innovation attempts, often providers will load the tube correctly, they'll put the camera on correctly, they'll go to make their innovation attempt only to find darkness on the screen. Okay, the reason for that is they didn't turn on the orange button prior to getting it all set up. If you don't have light in there, you're not going to be able to see anything. Right. One of the next common problems they're finding is the tendency to go too deep with the blade itself. So, for example, with the traditional laryngoscope, I'm not only holding it differently, but I also may go deeper and work my way back. It's very easy to go too deep with this particular device and be past your airway structures that you need to be innovating through. You can end up being in the esophagus just by approaching it at, at too deep of an angle. So they uh, very much recommend that you start with a shallow angle using that two finger shot glass technique to conduct your innovation. The last problem that AirTrack has identified for us is that these, a lot of these patients aren't being pre-suctioned. So keep that in mind, you, uh, based on how well the patient's been suctioned, how much foreign body or whatever else they have in their airway could affect your success in innovation. So they recommend having suction standing by, they recommend pre-suctioning these patients. Okay, so should one of these get damaged in your kits, or you lose one for any reason, the way you replace these, or you fill out a loss and damage report through SharePoint to get these replaced. If you use one of these on a call, you can have this uh, replaced through Falk. Once your innovation is complete, you're gonna take your video camera to your computer. Each station has a specific computer that has the AirTrack software loaded on that particular computer. You're gonna plug in the camera to a USB drive You're then going to have to open up the AirTrack software. Once you plug your camera in, you'll then see it pop up under the USB connected camera in the field here. You'll then select download videos and snapshots to PC. This will then pull up every video and snapshot that's been taken from the camera. You'll select the innovation that you want to upload and you'll go to the green button over here and hit upload. You'll see here that this was uploaded to our selected folder and ready for viewing.